Hello, I'm John Boyd, co-author of The Time Paradox, The New Psychology of Time That Will Change Your Life. In today's segment, I'd like to talk about what is the really cruel paradoxes or cruel ironies of time in our society. Time and punishment. We all enter the world as present hedonistic kids, and we want our desires fulfilled immediately. We have zero ability to delay gratification, and if we don't get what we want now, we throw temper tantrums. Over the course of our lives, through socialization, through our family, through our culture, through traditions, and primarily through our public education system, we take present hedonistic kids and we transform them into future-oriented adults that are ready to take their place in our adult future-oriented world in which they show up for work on time, buy insurance, plan for retirement, and do all of those fun future-oriented things. Some people, however, never fully learn a future time perspective and they remain in a present orientation. These people develop lots of characteristic problems that are associated with the failure to plan or to avoid negative future consequences. They develop addictions, gambling, drug abuse, unwanted pregnancies, sexually transmitted diseases. Lots of negative things happen in their lives because they can't fully appreciate the future consequences of their behavior. Now if somebody experiences repeated negative consequences in their life, oftentimes they're identified and put into specific attitude and behavior change programs that are designed by future-oriented people such as myself. These programs often stress the future consequences of behavior in an effort to show that if something, somebody does something today, something good or something bad will happen nine months, a year, several years in the future. While these attitude change and behavior change programs may work well for people that are already future oriented and have a, a model of the future in which they can really fully appreciate the future consequences of behavior, for people that remain present oriented, the future consequences of their behavior really doesn't resonate and fully they can't fully appreciate these consequences. So attitude and behavior change programs that stress future consequences of negative behavior are unlikely to work with present oriented people and they're likely to work most successfully with people who need them the least, the people who already have a strong future time perspective. Now if somebody has a present orientation for long enough, it's likely that they run afoul of the law. The law really is a deterrent that stresses the negative future consequences of present behavior. If somebody does something now, they're going to go to jail and they're going to have some of their future sacrificed because they've done something that society deems inappropriate. Well, in one of the supreme ironies of the way that our society treats time, we take people that are present-oriented and who violate the law precisely because they are present-oriented, because the deterrent effects of the law don't fully register with them, and we take away the very thing that is likely to help them avoid the similar state in the future. We take away their future. We take away their the ability to really plan and to understand that there are contingencies between now and the present and then in the future. So it's a, a supreme irony that the people who are most likely to run afoul of the law, people who are present oriented, are punished by taking away the thing that is most likely to help them and also help society avoid a similar fate in the future. We, we punish present orientation by taking away a future orientation or an opportunity to develop a future orientation that would really serve everyone better. Hope you enjoyed that segment and we hope you enjoy the book.